Hello Parade Watchers and welcome to a new history video. Today we will look at a creature that looks scary but actually friendly. That is right, it is Wild Thing. For his appearances as a giant balloon really in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Wild Thing made his parade debut in 1998. The design of Wild Thing is him saying boo in a friendly way, but it did not go well in 1998. There was a lot and lots of rain in 1998, and it managed to deflate four balloons before even starting the parade. Wild Thing being one of them. He wasn't the only one to do this. Garfield, Spider-Man, and Quick Bunny were deflated before even starting the parade. Okay, let's talk about this. When a balloon does not reach Herald Square, NBC shows either a test flight footage, if it's the balloon's debut, or show a previous year when the balloon was at Herald Square. And you may be thinking it was his test flight footage. Well, no. Because maybe you're asking, why didn't they do his test flight? Well, I really don't know. Wild Thing did not appear again in 1999. Maybe it was because he got deflated, or maybe the PDF officers grounded him because he couldn't fly. But Wild Thing did came back in 2002. It's a wild thing to make everybody's heart sing. You know the story when wild little Max is sent to his room, he dreams that it becomes a forest where the wild things are. Next year marks the 40th anniversary of this children's classic. Harper College Children's Books furnishes Maurice Sendak's Wild Thing Balloon, and he's scary. The artist joined forces with Macy's Parade Studio, and before he could say boo, this magnificent creature came to life. Now, guys, do you know who inspired Maurice Sendak to create the original Wild Things? I believe King Kong had something to do with it. You are correct, sir. Actually, if Max could fantasize sailing to a place where the Wild Things are, just imagine his fascination with the Wild Thing balloon taller than nine jungle gyms. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes. Wild Thing would appear again in 2003 as well. 2003 marks the 40th anniversary of that classic children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. Wild Thing Balloon is furnished by Harper Collins Children's Books and brought to life by Macy's Parade Studio and author Maurice Sendak. Everyone knows the story. Mr. This Little Max puts on his wolf suit, gets sent to bed without his dinner, then dreams his room becomes a forest where the wild things are. After selling five and a half million books, those wild things will soon star in their own motion picture. Today, Wild Thing Balloon flies by at over three times the height of a movie screen. We're ready for big time adventure on the new float expedition to the top of Rhino Mountain. After the 2003 parade, the Wild Thing Balloon was retired, making the total of technical appearances of four. Will he ever come back to the parade? Uh, I really don't know about that.